Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in costume today because it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Today I'm gonna to be making a seven layer dip, but I'm gonna make it spooktacular and put some spider webs on top. And um, we're gonna have fun with it today. Okay, we're gonna get started. This is a step that needs to sit for about five to 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this first. All you're gonna do is take a container. This is uh, 24 ounces of sour cream, and then normally you would use a packet of taco seasoning, but I um, like these big ones from Costco because I use it often, I use it in a lot of things. So um, three tablespoons of this equals a packet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three tablespoons of my taco seasoning into my sour cream. And then we're gonna give it a good mix and then let it sit in the fridge. Okay guys, let's start assembling our spooky seven layer dip. So silly, it's fine. I love Halloween, so let's get started. I'm going to start with refried beans. Uh, I'm using two cans because I like a, la a good layer of beans on the bottom. Um, I had a traditional and a fat-free in my pantry, so that's what I'm using today. So if you notice there's a difference in the color, that's because one is full fat and one is not. So let's just get these kind of mixed up a little bit. And then I am going to spread them. I am going to change and use my offset spatula here. It's a little bit easier to get into the corners and smooths everything else. Smooths everything out really nicely. Next, we're gonna add our sour cream layer. And I see that some of the bottom part wasn't all the way mixed, but that's okay because no one will be able to tell. Next, we are going to use our guacamole. You can make fresh guacamole, but I had a coupon, so this is what we're using. Same idea, you're just gonna plop it around and spread it out. Next, we're gonna do our salsa. I'm using a 24 ounce container of salsa. I might not use all of it. <laughs> There's no way I could do it. Got it. I don't need no stinking man. All right, you're just gonna pour it over. So we'll use about half of this container and spread it out, see what that looks like. I think half is gonna work perfect. If you wanna use more, go for it. Now we're gonna sprinkle the cheese. I'm using a uh, Mexican style blend. It's got uh, Monterey Jack, cheddar, You see here. So we're just going to evenly spread this and I'm going to use the whole bag. I'm actually using a bag and a half of this because one wasn't enough. I wanted some more coverage. I don't want to see the salsa. So go ahead and adjust the recipe. And now we're gonna make this spider part. This is where it gets spooky. All right, next, all I did was uh, thin out a little bit of sour cream and put it into this bag. And what we're gonna do is cut the tip. All right, so what we're gonna do is make a spider web out of this sour cream here. So, let's see. Um, 
do Perfect. If you want to perfect it, I suppose you could take a um, toothpick and kind of make your little um, uh, things there. But what I'm going to do is we're going to make one big spider in the middle. So this will be its body. And we're going to add its legs. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to take the rest of these olives and spread them around the edges. And then we're going to top it off with our green onions here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, uh, I don't care. So give it a thumbs down if you want. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching again. Happy Halloween. Have a safe time with your friends and family if you're going out or if you're doing parties or whatever. Don't drink and drive. Talk to you later. Bye.